Hey folks, thanks for joining me for another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got Bix Colleen and Cassian Andor standing in front of you from the series Andor, obviously. Um, yeah, two more great figures I decided to just put into one, one video review. Uh, just to simplify things, I uh, just did the Mon Mothma and Luthan Rail figure reviews and took a bit of a look at those and discussed their, their plate parts in, in, the, uh, in the series. Um, yeah, obviously Cassian is the titular character. Um, so we, we'll take a look at him second, but we'll look at Bix first. Now, I think the figure came out really, really nicely. Um, really awesome likeness. They seem to have, in most cases, they've gotten past that sort of sweaty head look um, that a lot of Black Series have been plagued with over the years. Um, seem to have a really nice sort of matte finish over the faces now. So, that, yeah, like I said, they don't have that shiny sheen to it and yeah a character like Bix here really really makes it count head sculpt is fantastic the hair the sort of braiding that's really nicely done the sort of twin We've got the part in the middle looks nice let's have that little symbol there I assume that's something to do with uh, Ferrix I can't remember but yeah really like her outfit too now, I'm pretty sure she came with a blaster as well. Um, some of my accessories have found their way into a bags of multiple accessories, so I do have to sort of find them and split them up at some point. It sure does come with the... Uh, I still can't remember what this thing's called. It's like a data pad, I suppose. iPad. Gives it to her kids when they're acting up. <laughs> and that is sort of... Uh, Vaguely remember that has something to do with like the patch of, you know, being able to plug into the comms tower. But that's kind of cool. So yeah, but the figure itself is, is really nice. I love the, definitely got the Ferrex colours sort of feeling, the sort of the browns, the maroons, the sort of mustards and reds and sort of these warm earthy colors they're on ferrix you sort of see that on in the during the march at the um in the final episode so i'm really glad she survived i'm looking forward to seeing more from bix colleen in season two Yeah, really, really nice looking figure there. I like the details on the belt with the uh, all the tools there she's carrying. A couple of little, little bit of extra paint wouldn't have hurt there, but that's all right. Yeah, Bix is looking good. Let's have a look at Cassian. Obviously, this figure was first released in a two-pack with B2MO. Um, that one was just way too pricey to get a hold of, so I just said, uh, I'm just going to get Cassian. Really nice figure. I liked. I like Cassian a lot. I think he's a fantastic character. And this figure's a pretty solid likeness of him, too. I think it looks good. I recently just pulled out the Rogue One Cassian as well. And they both go great together. I do need to get the Aldani Mission one in both scales. I haven't got the Vintage one or the Black Series one. I um, don't know whether to get both or just stick with one scale for these figures. I might just stick with the Black Series. I did get the Cassian 3 and 3 quarter, which I think is actually better than this one, um, in my opinion. But um, yeah, going scaling up to Black Series, you get to see a few more little design elements and, and a little bit more detail in the sculpt. Um, that sometimes isn't always present. They're pretty damn good these days in the three and three quarter inch. Um, but yeah, it's it's not too bad. I like the sort of the green, the blue undershirt. He's got some sort of tools there on his belt as well. I like the sort of gold buckle. Again, talking about these sort of warm colours of the Ferrix. It sort of comes out in the, the sort of brown, the sort of maroon touches of, of the jacket and the hood 
The hood up variant would have been cool as well. Be interested to see what else comes out of the uh, Andor series and in the Black Series and Vintage Collection. Um, Valsartha has just come out as well. Um, I haven't picked her up yet. I feel like she may, be, <laughs> may end up being a little bit of a peg warmer. But... I hope not, but it could very well be the case. Uh, Cassian does come with his blaster pistol there. But yeah, I've watched that. I've watched through the Andor series a couple of times now, and, and really do love it. And uh, yeah, I've, sort of the first time watching through, I didn't give it the attention it deserved. Um, so I'm glad on my second and third, and I've started a fourth viewing, but it's been a few weeks since I've, I've jumped back on that. So, um, yeah, certainly put my phone in another room. Didn't let those distractions come and get me while watching it. Just hundred percent attention, attention, excuse me. And yeah, really, really just completely blown away by it, to be honest. Um, yeah, really looking forward to season two. Uh, got a couple more figures to pick up, but I didn't get any from the first wave, which was some of those, like I said, the Cassian Aldani mission. Um, I got the Ferrix Trooper. Um, there was the Lieutenant, which I didn't get, and the Shaw Trooper, which I'm going to pass on anyway. Um, so I'm going to try and get those, those other couple, though. Um, so we'll see some reviews of those in the future. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this bit of a double feature, really. Um, get a couple of figures in one hit. It's sort of nice to do. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop any comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. One of those ones that's always good. Always appreciate those. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, we'll see you on another video real soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.